Hi, my name is Brian Prowl. I'm a physical therapist and I specialize in the treatment of vestibular imbalance disorders. Today we're going to look at various maneuvers that help us discern specifically what type of vertigo you may or may not have. Now, the first technique that we're going to do, or the first maneuver we're going to perform is called the Dix Hall Pike Maneuver. It's important to understand that if you are positive in any of these tests, they will produce spinning and you will have nausea. So it's important to have either a trash can or a bucket nearby just for precautionary reasons. For the Dix Hall Pike Maneuver, you're going to have your patient uh, go ahead and turn with their body sitting long ways. Okay? Now, this, partic this particular test tests for both posterior and anterior canal, depending on uh, the direction of the nystagmus. The instructions for this test that you're going to have for the patient is you're going to actually turn their head 45 degrees towards the side you're testing with, with about 20 degrees extension. You're going to ask the patient to stare directly at the tip of your nose with their eyes open. When spinning occurs or dizziness symptoms occur, their tendency is to either close their eyes or to look in different directions to try and to dampen the nystagmus uh, or dampen the dizziness. So you'll have the patient turn her head 45 degrees, slight extension, grab your arm for, for security purposes. On the count of three, we're going to lie you back. One, two, three. Back. You want to stay in this position for at least 30 seconds. The tendency for some therapists is they'll actually come out of the position a little bit too early if they don't generate the nystagmus or the symptoms. With some types of vertigo, there's a delay in the onset of the symptoms. So if you come out of it too early, you may miss the diagnosis and then bring them up. And then you'll come around and you do the opposite side as well. 45 degrees rotation, 20 degrees extension. Have them grab your arm for security purposes. And on the count of three, one, two, three. Look directly at my nose. And you'll look for involuntary eye movements or nystagmus. And then bring them up. A positive test will cause dizziness and you'll most likely see this eye movement with the eyes slightly turning and moving upwards. Another type of eye movement you might see is the eyes moving downwards, and this type will most likely last for about 90 seconds, a lot longer than the previous type. 